Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about probably the best set ever to open packs from back when it was around. Now, I have been told that these were magic cards were in Walmart or I think maybe Target, but they were in the board game aisle. I never I don't remember that. Uh, I do remember that they were in my grocery store. Uh, my grocery store back in Westchester, Pennsylvania was called Acme. I do remember Arabian Nights, that very unique purple package was in Acme at the time. I also remember Radio Shack used to have magic cards, which was kind of strange in my opinion, but yes. And GameStop used to carry magic cards. Maybe they, they still do today, I feel like, but there wasn't that many places to get them, especially when they were older. So Arabian Nights, you have four uncommons. This is why, in my opinion, if you could go back in time, the set that you want to open is Arabian Nights. Unfortunately, I didn't open too much of this, and I can't remember all of it. Uh, I, re I remember opening a bunch of legends. Like, when I mean a bunch, I mean like three packs. But... Arabian Nights, I do not remember opening at all, but I'm positive I've opened it because I saw it and I was like, oh, what is that? So Arabian Nights is possibly the best booster pack because of the uncommons. Now, back then, uncommons were different. They were like different types of uncommons, but overall, you have Diamond Valley, you have uh, Library of Alexandra, you have City of Brass, which is now very expensive, and you have Elephant Graveyard. These cards are so expensive now. And if you play during Arabian Nights, or if you can pick up an Arabian Night collection, it is very likely they have at least a few of them, if not a ton of them, depends on how much they open. So I would estimate if you open a box, you should at least get two to four of these, right? Because it's uncommon. Now, some of them might be rare as uncommon. I don't know exactly, but I know that there were different print, that not every uncommon was printed equally. So assuming you on average get uh, two to four of these, let's say on average you get three of each of these four cards and there's nothing else to get, you're still looking at, I don't know, 12 plus nine, 21 let's let's call it $3,500 and just uncommons you that's just that's so sick because the uncommons are uncommon therefore you know I always don't like I do not like to look at the mythics values when determining the value of the box even if the mythics make up a large chunk of the expected value the volatility I'm not a fan of volatility when it comes to pack Packs, I know gambling is really fun for everyone, but if you want to gamble, buy the lottery, in my opinion. The payout is much bigger, and the odds of you hitting something are about the same. I watched uh, a video recently, I think, of not Arabian Night. Maybe it was Legends. I think it was Legends, and the payout on Legends is just so awful. Like I watched that video, and I think one or a few, maybe two people out 30 made back their money. The rest of them got hosed into oblivion. Arabian Nights is not that. Um, yes, the booster packs are a lot more expensive, but these at common, a $300 City of Brass, it goes a long way. Um, and it goes a tremendous way when you're drafting or doing something like that. Uh, some packs in Legends, the most, the first pick card is the, the, the instruction card, the little instruction card. Because everything else is so bad. Uh, but in Arabian Nights, there's not that much variance because if you open a box you're going to get a ton of city of brass you are going to get elephant graveyard you're going to get these cards that are 300 dollars cards so if you are going to spend money and you are going to just kind of burn money light money on fire i think arabian nights is still very good um it's not something that uh, i feel like will go down in price and the four uncommons i'm City of Brass is a very good example of what I've been saying this entire time uh, about the reserve list. Just because a card is reprinted does not make the original card less valuable. This is an uncommon from Arabian Nights or $300. The re reprints are maybe $5.
right? And then people are like, oh, no, it's going to go down in price. Yes, it will, but the original will always hold value. Oh, I forgot Bizarre Baghdad. Okay, so I'm, I'm missing one. Maybe it was an elephant. Is Elephant Graveyard in the set? Hmm. I, maybe Elephant Graveyard is not in this set, and I'm just mistaken. So you got Library, you got uh, City of Brass, and then you have Bizarre Baghdad at, at $800 as a uncommon i believe this is uncommon right uh bizarre baghdad hmm 800 for uncommon seems like a lot i better double check that because 800 for un that's even a yeah it is an uncommon oh my gosh uh it's even better than i expected so i was expecting elephant graveyard here or something like that but bizarre baghdad 800 uncommon I don't think it's going to get that much cheaper in time. Definitely a solid, solid dreads card. Yeah, so my, if I could pick any set to go back in time and open, it would absolutely be Arabian Nights. You pay $4 a pack. Three dollars. It wasn't even $4. It was like $3.25 like a pack. And you have the potential of opening an $800 Uncommon. That to me is even better than Unlimited. I mean, beta is nice because everything in beta is kind of semi-valuable. But if I had to open Unlimited or Arabian Nights for the same amount of money, it would be definitely Arabian Nights. I don't know. I can't. So again, I was like in elementary. I was like in first grade or something like that. I cannot remember this being a very highly in demand set. The set that I remember being in uh, great demand was uh, Portal. <laughs> I don't know why, but everyone wanted to play Portal. I guess it was easier to learn at the time. Anyway, this is the most, uh, this is the best set to open ever. If you could go back in time, this would be what I would be opening, just because of the uncommons. I don't think any other set has uncommons that are as valuable as this one. Anyway, that is it. Leave me a comment below. Bye, guys.